Hello, and welcome back to another segment of the OVO show. I'm your host, Serenity Douglas, starring Ovia Gofu. We have not spoken in a while, so I'm really interested to just catch up with you. Mm-hmm. And this is now officially, it's Monday, but it is now officially OU week. So we're going to talk about the TCU game briefly, but then we need to get into the Super Bowl that's coming up literally Saturday. So how are you today? I'm doing good, man. How are you? I'm doing, I'm doing pretty good. I need to start telling you guys what I go through when y'all oh. text me before these interviews. Okay. I put rollers in my hair at 2.56. You texted me at like 2.58 and was like, are you ready to go at 3.30? And I was just like, yeah. Dang, yeah, yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> or sometimes it'll be like, who always gets me at nighttime? It used to be, you used to do nighttime. And I think DeMarvion always used to do nighttime. I would like have my glass of wine with my show ready. I'm like, I haven't heard from them the whole day. It looks like they're ghosting me today. And then y'all would be like, ready. Ready. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like, okay, it's fine. I think they think that I'm just sitting here all day waiting. <laughs> but yeah. it's fun. You guys know what to do. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the Orange Bloods Texas football YouTube channel. We really appreciate the support that we've been getting so far. Now, this TCU win was a tough one. Yeah. And you guys have not won against, I'm saying you guys, because now since you're a part of the Texas team, y'all, including Ovi, (laughs) who just transferred from Notre Dame, you guys have not won against TCU since, I want to say 2013. So what did this win mean to you just in a different perspective as a transfer since you didn't go through those years of not being able to get it right with them Mm -hmm. no so I mean definitely like you know I didn't coming into the week I didn't really know the you know the importance of like what this win would mean for real to me it was just like another game and then just throughout the week where my teammates be like, man, I hate TCU. I hate TCU. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, shoot. So this, this, this is a game. This is really oh, so this is serious. Game. Yeah. So, but I think, you know, it was a great win. We won the game. And I think what it did for us is just show that it's different now. Like, it's a different era now. And um, we're locked in and we're ready to go. I think that's what this win did for us. And it definitely was a a big confidence booster getting our third our third win in a row and um we just want to keep it rolling i'm sure it is you guys are four and one now that's a pretty good track going yeah. you know a couple of the interviews in the beginning were a little bit tough for me because you don't really know where things are gonna go i don't know if you guys got your momentum yet for real and it was just too soon. But now I think that we're pretty deep into things to see, like, this is what type of Texas team that we're dealing with now. But I always ask you about the atmosphere, because especially I've been doing some interviews this week, and TCU's crowd was notable to them. But I want to know what you think. Yeah, uh, I was hearing them. It was, it was, <laughs> I was hearing it's okay them. to say it. This student section was literally, like, right behind our bench. So we could hear everything they were saying. But um, the atmosphere, was it was great. It was great. It was a good atmosphere. It was a lot of purple. <laughs> I don't think I've seen that much purple before. <laughs> it was a lot of purple. But uh, it was a fun game. Um, it was a tough win. Uh, thought we had it. But, of course, we had to touchdown up late. But um, it was a good win, though. It was a great atmosphere. Uh even though the fans was behind us, the student section was behind us. It was still, it was still, it was still dope though. It was still dope to have the fans right behind you talking and we're winning. So then we could just look back and point at the scoreboard. <laughs> but <laughs> it was great though. I enjoyed it. Tell me a little bit more about some of the defensive issues that you guys were faced with this game. This game? Um, they had a really good running back. Uh, he really hit the hole and um I think overall we played a pretty good defensive game. We played a good defensive game. Uh, we we of course let some go. Um, we left some plays out there for sure. But um, overall, though, I think that it was a, it was a good defensive game. Um, shut out the pass for real. They didn't. They couldn't really pass the ball on us. 
and um, they had a re- they had a good running back. So, but we had a better running back. So exactly, that's that's what I was about to correct you on. That's what we talked about in the post game show. Catch brought up a really good point. Just about to talk some football with you real quick. Okay. Catch brought up a good point, saying that you know we have we have Bijan. You know he's greatness. Heisman. Yeah. It needs to go to him. Honestly, okay. Set our piece on that. However, we know how to play our stars well. We know how to give them the reps, give them the ball, and that's no issue for us. And I think that's what TCU, it's like they have a great running back, but then they just want to utilize him. And I kind of made the point where Herman did not utilize his great stars as much as he could have, but Coach Sark does. But what's behind that is his conditioning and him making sure that you guys are even in shape to be able to carry the ball 37 times, you know? So give me your take on that. What does Coach Sark do with you guys that is just different? Uh, I think Coach Sark does a really good job. I think it's not even during the game. It's, it, it starts with practice. We always say mm-hmm. practice execution equals game reality. So I think it starts with practice and just the way we practice. Um, we go in Monday, you know, we learn the game plan. We learn this the type of team we're going against. Mm-hmm. What the media is saying about this team or things like that. And then we go out and we do like, you know, a light practice. Then we, Tuesday, Wednesday, we get after it. And that's really more of like our conditioning days. I think that those days are really the days that help us, you know, for Saturday because right. the practices are are way more intense those two days. And from then on, it's more of a, a, you know, tightening the screws, getting everything together. And then by Saturday, we're fresh and we're ready to go. What are some things that you noticed from watching film that you need to work on? For me? Mm-hmm. Um, I'll say for me, um, I'll just say just based off this, this TCU game, um, I'll say like, you know, again, probably just technical stuff, still technical stuff, uh, executing some of the calls better. Uh, that's really it. It's more technique and um, execution. I mean, everybody got to work on that. Yeah, that was like, <laughs> that's something you tell me every single week, but I mean, it's good. It's good that you notice that. Just paying uh-huh. attention to the small details and right. doing what you need to do. I yeah, like everything, that. everything can be improved. So right. There's not something that I'm like, oh no, I gotta I gotta work on this right now. Otherwise, you know, it's just more like, you know, just get better and better every week. Absolutely. You were changing jerseys this game, yeah. being the true edge that you are. I'm I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, but you were changing in between number 23. And your original number of number 18. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Yeah, I mean, it was just, uh, so Jared Wiley wears number 18. Mm-hmm. We were both on kickoff return. And you can't have two numbers at the same time. So I just wore the 23 jersey on kickoff return, and I'll take it right off. <laughs> but why this game? It was game plan. You know, just the kickoff return depth. This is something that you guys decided to do, like during the TCU game. It's all game plan. It's okay. all. Game. I can't get into too much of it, but it's all. Game okay. Plan. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. Okay, I get you. I get you because uh, I had no idea. But yeah, no, I, that's the reason why you just can't have two uh, two players wearing the same jersey. So we just uh, and because he goes on offense right after kickoff return. I might as well wear the jersey because I'm going to be on the sideline. Take off the jersey. Okay. I like it. I called it multifaceted. That's what I called it on Twitter <laughs> since I was tweeting as just like a Longhorn alumni this week. So it is OU week. Yes. You have not gotten to experience Texas versus OU. I haven't, but I have heard about it. It's wild. I kind of feel like even people talking about it just doesn't do it enough justice. I know. (laughs) First of all, college game day coming to the game is just all all you need to know. It's the Super Bowl of Texas. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. 
Um, but it's another game. Okay. It's just another game. And, um, you know, I'm excited to, you know, to see like, you know, this, this big hype about this rivalry, but like in terms of like the game plan and execution, it's still the same way. It's still the same process, but I'm definitely excited about this week for sure. I'm excited for you just because you're a transfer. I'm excited. I was going to say for coach Sark, but I'm sure he has had plenty of rivalries in his day. That's probably a lot bigger than this, but it's a huge game. Yeah. And what you were hearing from the TCU fans is going to be a hundred times worse. Like people, Jordan was telling me, Jordan Winnington was telling me his freshman year, he was coming out of the tunnel and they were selling, they were saying like personal stuff, like as if they went and looked him up and they specialized their insults, (laughs) specialized their insults per player. Yeah, they probably some did. Real hatred. Yeah, I don't know. It's exciting though. It is exciting. Yeah. I like it. I love it. Yeah. Me and OU, we used to butt heads, <laughs> and I I love talking to the fans. It was the best part to me, and it's what it's all about. But what is Coach Sark saying to you guys to just prepare y'all this week? Treat it like another game. Treat it like another game. Treat it like another game. Every week he says the team that we play. It's the biggest game. So last week, TCU was the biggest game of the season. Now, this week, OU is the biggest game of the season. Next week, Oklahoma State's going to be the biggest game of the season. So I like that approach because it just it just keeps us cool-headed. Um, we know what it's about. We know the hype. You know, we hear it all. But um, in order for us to do what we need to do, we got to just think about it as another game. And I think, like, that's a that's an amazing approach, you know, that he's brought to this team one game at a time Mm -hmm. I have definitely felt myself just in track and field already thinking about nationals and we're at the first meet right that's extremely stressful I mean Mm -hmm. I couldn't help it but that's extremely stressful to just be thinking about what you guys are playing in November and how they're playing now and yada 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 the analysis of it it's a it's a lot and a lot of the time it just distracts you. You have too many things on your plate, and that's how you guys will end up playing. Man, I, can, I can agree. Yeah. I can agree. Yeah. I didn't even think it was it's kind of funny. Is that like I didn't even remember. I like I didn't even know our record after the TCU game. <laughs> I really wasn't thinking about it. I just also oh, I just I just told you, I informed you. No, 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 I knew it. <laughs> you could have said yes. <laughs> You could have said yes, and in fact, you guys are ranked number 21. Exactly. Um, I just found that out today, though. From me, wow. yes. <laughs> <laughs> like, for me, yeah. That's what I, That's literally what I am here for. <laughs> but what are you yeah. most excited for just throughout this week? I think, I mean, of course, like, what I'm excited for is the game. I think that's what it is. The most I'm excited for is the game. I think, you know, the preparation is just the preparation. Mm -hmm. Our coaches are going to make an amazing plan, amazing game plan. But, like, I'm most excited about the game, being able to play in that atmosphere. I know the atmosphere is going to be wild. And just – and it's it's a big game, like, you know. And, um, you know, I love playing in big games. So, excited for it. I'm just excited. (laughs) I get that. Were you able to catch any other either NCAA football games this weekend, NFL football games? NCAA, not really, because uh, the bus ride was kind of long on the way back. I didn't really, I didn't really catch any NCAA. I watched some NFL, though. I watched some NFL on Sunday. What's your team? I don't think I ever asked you that. I'm going to have to go with the Lions because, you know, I'm from Detroit, so I got to go with the Lions. Lions. Yeah. I don't hear that one often. <laughs> I don't hear I don't hear that often at all. <laughs> My cousin plays for the Broncos, so I support the Broncos too. So okay, that should be your favorite team then. Who's your cousin? Michael Ojemudia. Oh wow. Yeah, he plays corner for him. Okay, okay. 
So please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the Orange Bloods Texas Football YouTube channel. It is Beat OU Week, however you want to put it. It is, what time is it? 4.18 and OU sucks. You know, the whole, I can say that, the whole nine yards. It was a pleasure speaking with you again, Ovi Agofu. Good luck and thank you. Yeah.